you live from Monte Cassino at the Teatro, just outside the theater at the moment. And uh, the theater is where the uh, All-Star American Ballet is going to be taking place. It'll start on Friday all the way until Sunday. We've got uh, some of the most incredible dancers, the best dancers in the world that are going to be on the stage. And I think what's incredible about it is that uh, two South African dancers are going to have the opportunity to dance with this All-Star cast, including uh, Leroy, who is a 14-year-old dancer here in South Africa, who is making waves all around the world. Well, let's talk to the uh, two American dancers from the New York Ballet School that are here with us. And of course, the director of this uh, entire production is Joaquin Deleuze and uh, Ashley also, one of the, I suppose, best dancers in the world when it comes to ballet. It's so good to have both of you on the program and welcome to South Africa. Thank you. That yeah. was quite an introduction. It, it, it was, wasn't <laughs> it? But I mean, I, I think a very well-deserved one. I mean, the pieces that you've been doing for us this morning, especially at this ungodly hour and in the cold of winter. Um, Ashley, first time to South Africa, have you danced here before? No, this is my first time here, so yeah. it's very exciting to yeah. be, I've never been in the Southern Hemisphere, let alone Africa, so for me this is a great experience. I don't really mind getting up at 5 a.m. if it means I can be here. <laughs> Good. I'm happy to hear that. What about you, Kim? Is it the first time as well? This is my second time here. I was here two years ago uh, for Christmas and uh, I went all over. I went to Cape Town and Johannesburg and yeah. Kruger Park. So I'm it's, it's lovely to be back. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a, it's a beautiful country. I'm, I suppose coming from me, I, you know, I live here. So I do think it's amazing. But in terms of the, 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 the standard of ballet in South Africa, what are, you, what are your impressions? You've been here before. Um, you, I saw you passing on some amazing tips to Leroy there. But what are your impressions? Um, well, I saw Leroy in New York when he was there um, in the finals of the competition. And uh, uh, yeah, there's so much talent. I, I keep hearing, you know, the, this, this dancer, this, this productor, this uh, the choreographer, South African. Um, my girlfriend is also South African. She's dancing in the show, Andrea Shermoli. Um, she'll be performing. Um, so yeah, I think there's a, a big movement for dance here and a big passion for it. So I hope to get the audience um, a little bit of what we do there and you know so they can enjoy incredible for you Ashley I know that you've just arrived really so you haven't had a chance and 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 I know that you're all going to Soweto after this particular mm -hmm. broadcast which is is going to be a highlight for you but just in terms of what you've seen so far from South African dance what are your impressions um, well, like Joaquin said, I think there's a lot of talent here, but obviously there's not a lot of exposure for South African dancers in the world, and you know we don't get a lot of exposure to them, so it's sort of a cultural exchange of ballet that we're sort of creating. I hope that we can inspire them, and we can see more South African dancers you know, all over the world, and hopefully bring more people back here to experience this country and the dancers here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've traveled a lot of the world doing this. So everywhere. Everywhere, really. Yeah. Everywhere we, I mean, we've danced in China, Japan, Singapore, Italy, Spain, England, Greece, uh, Kazakhstan, like very, <laughs> some very strange countries. Um, so you know, to be here and to to see that the dance world here is just as thriving and lively, and and the talent pool here is just as good as the rest of the world is very exciting. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. But what was it like for you in the beginning? Because, you know, you've got these dancers that have this dream and it's, uh, it's not a very easy industry to get to where you are. I mean, you've worked very, very hard to be where you're at. Um, for you, Joachim, what was it like in the beginning? Um, it was, like you said, you, you dream big. I mean, I, I grew up in a small town in, in Madrid, Spain, and uh, you know, nobody was going to tell me I was going to be dancing in South Africa, you know, when I was a kid. So I think that um, like Ashley said, you come here with a big show like this and you, you hope to inspire new generations of little kids that dream and have a big dream to one day become, you know, a professional dancer yeah. like we are. Yeah. So you were from Madrid. You originally obviously from the States? Yes, I'm from Pennsylvania and my huge dream was to dance in New York and beyond that I didn't you know, when you're young, you don't realize there's this world beyond this bubble that you live in. And I never dreamed that I would be able to dance in Europe and Asia all the time. I mean, let alone Africa. It's, you know, something that as a child I could have never foreseen or even thought I would be able to do. And for us to come here and show children that they can also come to where we are and do it because we're coming here, I think is great. I wasn't exposed to that when I was young, growing up in a really tiny town in the United States. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's good for us to be able to do that for others. Excellent. All right, before I, I link to an ad break, just tell us, what, what can we expect on stage when you come and see this production? Oh, I think this show is, uh, is particularly well-rounded, uh, well if you will, because um, it offers a little bit of something for everybody. And, and um, when I uh, 
put together a show or, or I imagine a show being um, uh, conceived, I always think that uh, there are people out there in the audience that have never been to the ballet, mm. and their their perception of ballet is somewhat, you know, more a little bit of more more traditional. Um, I think they're going to get really entertained and um, and hopefully moved by the show. You Fantastic. know, that's what I hope. I, I was also told by the, the the Harley bikers downstairs that you've decided you're changing your bike after seeing what's happening down there. Yes, <laughs> yes, I have a few ideas. <laughs> you have some ideas yes. there. Good. I'm glad. So that integration between Harley and ballerinas actually does work. It it's does, not a fallacy. It does happen. I'm it does so happen. glad. Yeah. Well, Ken, thank you for talking to thank us. You. Actually, thank you very much for being here. Good luck. Enjoy the show, and most importantly, enjoy your trip to Soweto today to see the youth arts in that area. Looking forward to it. I'm sure. Enjoy. All right. Well, there you go. Two of the key dancers in this performance, and your Kim is the uh, the director of the show, the uh, American All-Stars, that's going to be taking place here at the Teatro at Monte Cassino. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this. Stay tuned.